it's Deborah from The Attic and I'm back with you to share my bullet journal setup for January 2022. This is using my new Archer and Olive uh, journal, which I showed you in an, uh, a previous video. And I showed you that I've been practicing uh, some floral arrangements, particularly relying heavily on the YouTube tutorials of Shada Campbell. And I'll provide links to her below this video because what she does is really helpful and inspiring. So these were my reference images. And then my journal setup for 2022 is very, very simple. I've got the whole uh, half of the year laid out here with birthdays, events and public holidays. My year continues here. I've added some nice floral arrangements along the bottom. And then the final page of my yearly setup, because this is all I'm going to do for my year, is I have this sort of a year in pixels concept, which is where you have uh, the months along the top numbers down to 31 down the side and I'm going to uh, track my exercise and my social media and I don't want to track anything more because trackers make me feel guilty <laughs> I don't want to feel too guilty and then I did this rather uh, nice floral illustration um, just to give me a little boost and to remind me that my bullet journal this year is a simple journal combined with an art journal January looks like this this is um, called a Dutch door where you use you cut away part of uh, one page and it reveals a page below. And for this, I've lent heavily again on Shader Campbell's layouts. Now I'm doing this very deliberately because I want to concentrate on getting into the routine of doing this and I want to make sure that I'm drawing every day. And the layout, as long as the layout sort of tells me the information that I need, I'm not going to get too hung up on that for now. So I don't mind copying how she has done her layouts and I think mine will evolve over the year but my focus is to make sure that I am drawing regularly every day if I can. So this is a winter floral illustration that I've put together and I hope you can see that there's a little shimmer on the J for January and I added that with a wink of Stella uh, brush. This is a clear Wink of Stella brush and it adds a lovely shimmer to things in your book and I don't want to be adding too much colour. I rather like the pale uh, pastel-y colours of this and I didn't want to um, put too much sort of blingy bling on there so that's why this is quite simple. And in order to create this I have been referring to um, the winter foliage images that I practiced uh, and I learned from watching Shader Campbell's tutorials and I've turned them into my own floral arrangement here. I've got January just uh, as a month uh, for reference. It's quite a nice little thing to have in there um, but I don't because I don't want to be writing out numbers all the time for every month, loads of little boxes, loads of little numbers in them. I, I, I want it to be open, I want it to flow, I don't want it to feel closed and constrained because it's got lots of little boxes in it. So I've hardly used boxes at all and if I have I've done them freehand. I haven't used a ruler because again I want to make this feel more organic. Once I've drawn and coloured my image I cut it out with um, my little scissors and I did another drawing on the inside and this is a mixture of I think pine needles and mistletoe and berries. Again, the colours are very, very subtle, but I've added a little sheen, a little shimmer on those berries. Maybe you can see it uh, with the Winko Stella clear pen. In the top, I've added goals. My goals are very, very simple. Do your videos. So every Friday I release a video with new content. And so I'm, I'm making my goals achievable. <laughs> um, I want to design a new kit to go into my Etsy store. If you haven't uh, been and visited my Etsy store, I'll provide links below. Lots of beautiful kits for making your own journals in there. And regular drawing and painting. That's really, really important for me for this year and for this diary. The rest of my setup is extremely simple. Um, I've just used simple lettering along the top. In my previous journal from last year, I was trying to get a bit fancy pants with my calligraphy and that was lovely to try and do. So here's April. I mean, it's okay, but it's not, it's not thrilling, is it? And I wanted to keep it simple. So simple font, letters down one side. I've pulled forward some important information about birthdays from my year planner, which is what I'd uh, I'd done previously. So I've taken this information 
I've used it to populate this. I've got my new moon and full moon noted in there because I just quite like to know that. And then on this page, I've got uh, video ideas, design ideas, and make. I always want to make things, whether that's a recipe, a gift for a friend, something using needle felting, and I will make a note of it in there, and then I know I've done it, or I know I've recorded it somewhere, and I know I need to do it. I've been working on a, a holly uh, image that will sit down the bottom of this page, and the reason that I haven't coloured it in beyond the main piece of holly here is because I'm still debating with myself whether or not I want to keep that for January, or whether I just want the holly image in the top. And that is it. And the rest of January is deliberately blank because this is where I want to do my regular drawing. So this book is um, its beautiful to draw on, it's beautiful to write on and it, it makes drawing an absolute joy and this is what the rest of January is for. So I haven't planned ahead for February because I don't know how much drawing I may do in January. So that is my January layout. It's very very simple. I'm deliberately keeping it simple so that there's a better chance I will follow through on this each month. If I feel it's becoming onerous or it's a, a real chore to do it, it's going to suck all the joy out of it. So I'm deliberately keeping it simple because the focus of my journal this year is to make sure that I do my drawing uh, and keep up my drawing practice and so that's my plan. It's basically just two pages. Couldn't be simpler. I hope that's given you some ideas for things that you might want to try for yourself. And thank you very much for your time, as always, for watching. And until we meet again, stay safe and take care.